And let's start off with what I think is arguably one of the greatest games to ever come to the iArcade. Ready Player One. That's what I'm talking about. Um, you know, I'm just a scrub at Galacticon. I want to I want to introduce to the number one person right now on the leaderboards, Jeff Bidner, and uh, maybe you can share you. some secrets of playing this amazing game that's been brought to us um, on the I Arcade. Oh, right on. So, ba basically. Um, the scoring system, forget about the timer, right? At the end of the scoring system, you get a time bonus, right? We all we all know that you, you get those points. But what I came to realize in the game, um, you could actually, let's say, sacrifice uh, your, li your life in hopes of um, getting more bonuses to drop, um, i.e. the one-up hearts to drop, because that's all random. So as you're playing through the game, you want to try to grab those power ups as soon as they drop, so it so it starts the next timer to the next one to drop. So you're you're gambling to see if you can get those hearts to try to farm and get those uh, get those one ups. And then while you're while you're waiting for all that to happen, just shoot and get points. Um, fill your bases up. Um, just don't fill them all up because as soon as you fill them all up, and the level ends, and you have to go up, and the bonuses stop dropping. So just stay in the level, and uh, and then. What I used, did to get that 4 million points is uh, what I, I set out to do every level. I just said, you know what, I'm going to get 100,000 points and then I'm going to move on. And then uh, I ensured that I got that 60 grand and then that going up bonus. And then it essentially was getting a free life every level as I would progress through the game. And at one point I had like 20 lives under my belt. And uh, I remember taking a screenshot earlier on in that playthrough when I was at the end of level five, I had over a million points and 13 lives. Wow. So that kind of just tells you if you spend a little bit of a time investment in the beginning to kind of uh, set yourself up for later on in the game, you can really maximize that point score. I actually got that 4 million points in 27 levels as opposed to the previous score that I set, which was 3.9 million, and I got to level 30. But I didn't do the farming so much as I did on that second playthrough. I did a little bit in the beginning, and then I just kind of went to level after level because of it getting harder as you progress through the game. And uh, basically, yeah, you just have to sit there and just try to so take everything. So basically, out. you're going to use your timer till the very last second to pop out of the level. Is that what you're saying? No, no, actually... Um, you, you, you die just let yourself die because as soon as the timer hits zero your character explodes and you uh -huh. lose a life and then you'll respawn in the level and your timer goes back to 174 and uh, starts counting uh, down again so you oh, have, so you no get matter, the full time again absolutely oh. you get the full time again what so, a wow. hack that's right wow so then, i would never even thought to do that yes, so you're you saying use all the time yeah, yeah. use all the time yeah. so that's why you don't worry about trying to like fill those pods right away if you play this strategy gotcha. okay you, you can just do that at your leisure you know, you, you and uh, to get those four that you have trouble with remember when they start you have the three colors that are already on the platforms right yeah. they don't go anywhere they don't die leave them there until you have like three of a kind and then you can snag that that uh, that fourth one and then and also a better strategy is let's say you pick up an off-color one and then you have three all together. 
purposely kill that off color yep. one by hitting something yeah i've seen you do that yeah, like yeah. you just like you put them on and you just like run them into someone yeah so, so that he goes away so be, you become those those ones now become invulnerable to any sort of hit right they can still hit you if you fly into something but those ones that you're still carrying are invulnerable for a certain amount of time so and also when you pick something up while you're invulnerable that other one becomes invulnerable as well so that gives you a few seconds to to then go down without worrying about losing another one and cash it in for four and get that 8,000 points. Wow. Can you can you tell us the bonuses for all eight levels? Because you told me earlier today, like, it was amazing. You were just like, oh, you do this, you do this. Can you tell us the bonuses? I couldn't believe how I stumbled across it. It all started with level three uh, when you actually have to shoot those boulders. And I just went nuts and and shot a whole bunch of them. And then I, I got it. And, and it said, you have to shoot 16 large boulders and get to the ship without dying. Mm -hmm. And that's even those like those two mini boulders that actually break break off from the main boulder when you destroy it. So, so, that's so Cuddles, Cuddles well. told me, too, he has a video on his channel. Check out Cuddles Arcade. But if you go up, like in levels, I think it's one and two, as yep, long as you don't two. shoot anything at all and yep. you, you make it to the top, you still have to get like a little icon appears and that gives you how yeah, much? 30,000? That windmill. The windmill. Yeah, you can start shooting after that icon appears, right? Cause okay. You, yeah, it once it's on the point. screen, you can start firing to, to be able to get to it. Okay. Absolutely. But that's a cool hack. So level four is the same way. You go up with it without dying. Go up without shooting anything? Yeah, level five is the one with the snakes, I believe, that come down. You have what to do you do for that? You have to shoot a uh, a mystery rock. You have you see how all the rocks that are going up. There's one mm -hmm. rock that'll that'll start flashing when you shoot it. You have to destroy it. You just keep shooting it till you destroy it, and then make it to the ship without dying. So the rock only flashes when you when you shoot it. Yeah, so you so don't know which one it is. You don't know which one it is. It's random, so you have to go up and just shoot okay. the rocks until you see one that starts flashing and taking hit point damage, and then destroy it without taking damage. Get up to your ship, and you get you get the bonus. The next one is the uh, those uh, green pillars that come with the uh, the diamonds, right. the ruby diamonds in the middle. You have to collect 16 of those. Oof. And there's more than 16 there, so don't worry about grabbing them all. Just grab 16, and then you're in the clear. Get up there without taking a hit. And you yeah, I found for me, like, like I'll do great, and then I'll get in the little level when you go up, and I'll get killed like three times in a row or twice. <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's I really great. need to prep. Those in-between levels, like, take all my lives. So I just have to get better at those. Yeah, it's hey, what's up, very, Rexer? Very Welcome delicate. to the show. And then um, the next level is those uh, those those orbs that appear. Uh, so essentially, you just have to do a little dance around them, try to go left and come out the other side to kind of lure them like left and the right. And you kind of have to do it in a way where you're kind of going back and forth, where it kind of keeps them in the middle, going left and right. Because if, if you if you're just off just a little bit, like you just mess up that, that one i'm not good at i can't get it every time that one's a difficult one to get um and then the last level level eight going up with the rings going around it's the same thing you have to collect 16 of those uh, rainbow diamonds without dying and you have to just maneuver through there and get to the top and you get that windmill and you get that thirty thousand points and that's all eight levels yeah. so all like you got to do all you got to do is it's just that easy and then you'll make four million points just like <laughs> jeff Pittner. is yeah. that true how that's, much that's, practice do you do to be able to play like that? It's amazing. Um, it, it's just, yeah, just you just play over and over again and just uh, just learning your mistakes. Um, it, it's it's pretty much that. And just really being focused on what's coming and not just have, getting getting that tunnel vision and just focusing mm -hmm. on one thing. Because when you get to the, uh, oh, my gosh, because um, we've seen the second playthrough. Uh, you guys haven't seen the third and fourth playthrough. When you get to the uh, the uh, third and fourth play, you still get the walkers that come. The third the third playthrough, you get like double walkers, like they spawn continuously. So you have to constantly keep going down and getting them, um, else they'll start killing the people you put into the pods. Now, having said that, that's another scoring opportunity right there, right? Because when that walker takes out your enemies you can now put more of uh, your guys in there and you get like the point scoring for it again. So if you've already so you kind of want them to, you want them to take your enemies yeah. out and then refill them. That. Yeah. You can get, yeah, that's get crazy. I wouldn't even have thought of that. You, like I just thought that the other night and I'm like, you know what? You, you could kind of do that. Can't you, you can kind of manipulate it that way and get more points that way. That's, I haven't tried that yet, but I want to try that and see how effective. And if I, if it, if it's worth the time 
effort to do that as opposed to just shooting all the enemies that come on the screen because when you get to the third fourth playthrough you get like three enemy types on one level all at once and it kind of keeps you at the bottom uh, I, I, I had a hard time going up grabbing anything because of all the walkers spawning and just everything it doesn't give you much room to move and then the fourth playthrough the walkers the uh, the prison ship that comes through they have shields and they take more shots so you have to sit there and for a few seconds to actually destroy them you just can't simply swipe swoop down in one shot well, i think i think at least in the irk you. community you're probably the, one of the only people that oh. have seen that so uh My so gosh, that's cool you're, you're in for a treat when you get that far so get ready i'm not even that. taking notes because yeah never i'm not even far. taking notes like I mean, if, if i get if i get through level eight it's like, not gonna happen i'll be yeah. a happy camper my life will be yeah. complete i'll be i will have succeeded is um, it just like you, how much patience do you have to figure this out on each like level how to get the bonuses um, how do you just, figure I, it out you just I, try I, I, different things well, that's what it, it was. What, what the key words I took from the first one I discovered, which was the third level with the rocks, it says without dying, that last sentence. So I'm just like, hey, let's go back to level one and let's just see if I just go up without dying and don't shoot anything and see what happens. And sure enough, I unlocked the bonus. And then I'm like, let's try that again on level two. Same thing. And then level four, same thing. Because when I played initially through it, I would shoot everything for every single time. So that, that, that was the only thing I thought was different. It's like, I got to do something different to get this bonus. I can't shoot these things because I'm not getting the bonuses. It's not collecting those diamonds in the first like four levels. Okay, let's just go up without dying. And then I get the bonuses. And then there was one guy in the Facebook group, I forget his name, but he, he told me about level five, about the mystery rock. That's something I don't think I would have discovered right away. And very thankful that he he, he, uh, he revealed that tip. Yeah, it's cool. And Brooklyn, then, can you yeah. read the super chat real quick from Stringer Films? Yeah, shout out again to Stringer Films. That Thank you. Out. Super chat. Nice. Very generous. And this is good advice, Rexer. Watch out for deer and one-ups in the roadway. Very it's generous. This all, is good. It's all about those one-ups. You got to get those one-ups. <laughs> Extra <laughs> points, Jeff. <laughs> well, to, to get you deep into the game, because yeah. like I said, when you get further on, uh, eventually when you get there, um, you don't have much room to move, and you could easily bump into something, and you can just lose a bunch of lives just like that oh, wait that's the wrong show sorry <laughs> jeff so is there a maximum amount that you can farm on those first couple levels with with one-ups or is it random i it, it's random so i would say it's a gamble okay. right so you're you're gonna take a risk it's like it's just like a slot like a slot machine like you're gonna put your money in you're gonna pull the cord we're gonna see what comes down maybe you get one one up in that 174 seconds or you get yeah. like two or three Okay. It, that drop down. Um, it is random. I've had it happen uh, in one of those 174 where it drops like two or three. And I'm wow. like, yes, You're like, I need yeah, all these yeah. lives. <laughs> yeah. Miami Cuddles, did you want to talk to Prince Malcolm about a game? Um, so let's, Nebula let's let him out of the screen. Is from, uh, they have zero, zero reviews on Steam. I played the, the demo. It's a very good game. I'm so it's a six dollar game. It's by Tsunamo or something like that. Okay. But uh, I shared I shared the link on Facebook. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, it, I mean they're just a hidden gem company that's not getting any hits on Steam, and the game is fantastic. Is it's as good as Galacticon? Mm. Awesome. Okay, uh, we'll do. Giving Prince homework. <laughs> so it is. Drop that down. That sounds intriguing. Prince, I sent you one. Uh, it's called Halo. See if you can get it done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't want much. Just Halo. Just get us, you know, like about, about Soul Calibur. You know, just yeah, easy yeah. stuff to get. Easy I'm stuff. Yeah, easy stuff. Low hanging like, like, fruit. Low hanging about... fruit. Let's get some Capcom, you know. Yeah. Can I can I give um, my opinion on Galacticon? Yeah, yeah so many. Absolutely so many it's happened for many years there's so many games that come out that try to capitalize on the retro crowd and they try to make the games look pixelated but they fail because they just don't have that like feeling to them galacticon long head donut dodo three games on arcade that literally if i didn't know could be fooled into thinking that these games actually came out in the uh, 80s and early 90s. That's what I love about those games. 
Mm. Absolutely. It's it's I mean they they could have sat in the arcade like like Galacticon should have been sitting between Joust and Defender. Oh yeah. And we wouldn't that would have been triple A. There's no doubt in my mind. I mean what do you guys think? Oh my allowance would be going in that machine, that's for sure. All those quarters. <laughs> yeah, there are games that no matter when it was released, it would hold up. This game could have been released in eighty five and it would still be it would be talked about like we're talking about it now. It's it's mm-hmm. that good. It, it's timeless, you know. I don't know if you can say that about let's say Donut Dodo or Longhead, but for this one, I think no doubt about yeah. it, it's it's historic. Hey, hey, look who we got. Look who we got. Welcome to the stream. Hey. She showed up. We're so glad you're here. I told you. Let me move this microphone. I probably should have the microphone a little bit closer. Oh, yeah, we don't right. need we don't need to hear what Mario has to say. We want to hear yeah, you. Yeah, did, did yeah. You dump it's those me, pesky kids Mario. Off? What? <laughs> did you dump those pesky kids off from practice? Oh, yeah, my daughter's home. Just hopefully clean it up. Hey. <laughs> Steps would not be here if it wasn't time for Mountain Dew taste test. I got, I got, I got Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Zero. Okay, I'm determined to get to this because I have something that I feel like I want to yeah. see. How important are leaderboards, panel discussion? Um, and we can. whoever wants to start, who wants to start with that? Well, I, I never thought they were important. I think we're going to have until- different opinions. Yeah, like I never thought that they were important until you start making friends in the community and then you start seeing your friends' names up on there and that makes you want to like chase their score or do mm-hmm. better than that. Absolutely. So it it is very important because I can I had the I arcade for a while and never hit that Z button to check uh the leaderboard. Now I'm and always checking them, see who's up on there and seeing what I'm trying to beat. We're we're gonna save Jeff for last. What do you think, Kev Gret? I I mean, just look, we have Jeff on this show. He's the number one Galacticon and Space Invaders player that we know. Would he be on this show if we didn't know he existed and he was just sitting in his own top 10? I mean, it just shows you that leaderboards are important. They foster competition. They foster foster community. Jeff's telling us tips and tricks. We wouldn't know know, any of this stuff if if we didn't have leaderboards. Absolutely. You know, I found the game Breakthrough. I saw Cuddles Arcade name on there. He was like in sixth place. I said, hey, Cuddles is on this game. I'm going to check it out. And I got addicted to playing it. I got addicted to playing it. It's tough. It is a tough game. I can't believe how well you did in it. Jumping over those those the bridge you know to go to the i know it it, it's great we're gonna talk about that game in a minute but um what do you think prince malcolm i just want to get everyone's opinion so i think leaderboards is very important but outside of the competitiveness i think also when the devs and the other companies are monitoring you know how much you guys are playing by the scores you're making on the leaderboards Mm -hmm. eating they're looking at that too so they're like oh wow so i arcade is is a big deal so yeah let's try to get our games on here so as far as leaderboards and that aspect I, it's very important awesome awesome cuddles you have an opinion yeah uh very important it's it's okay. competitive it's competition it's fun to see you know you know okay well i'll turn the game off no i want to beat brad i want to beat brad i'm going to keep playing yeah i know i, know. I would have never played that game but i saw your name on it. I said, well it can't be bad if cuddles is on here i'm going to try it out and here's someone that really does a lot of competitive gaming. I mean, you're doing an incredible job, Steps. You want to talk oh, about up. leaderboards? Yeah, you're on your full screen. Sorry, I didn't mean to shock you into it, but. Yeah. So here's the deal. Here's the deal with me. Like, okay. I at first, like, before I started getting involved Sorry. with these uh, IRK people, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that that would be a really cool or important feature because I've always just been somebody who just plays games. I didn't really care what my score was or this or that. But I will tell you, uh, when I started playing uh, Space Invaders Infinity Gene and I was, like, looking at people on the board, I uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, Rainwater's here? I could do better than Rainwater. <laughs> and the problem was I did, but I started yeah. the wrong mode. So, now uh, so many cold. games. So yeah, I Jeff. That I have to go to a specific mode to chase the score. So I'm gonna have to go back <laughs> and do that. But I could see how it could be addictive, and it's a it's a good way yeah. um, to get people more involved as a community. You know, mm-hmm. um, absolutely. The community aspect of it to me is really the icing on the cake. I mean, that's that's what makes me play more. Um, we got a super it, chat. Can you read this real quick? 
Sure. Uh, shout out again to Stringer Stringer. Films with another $2 super chat. I scored a primal rage in a smash TV cabinet on Tuesday for $500. That's awesome. Wow. Now, That's all you awesome. need to do is change it back to smash TV. <laughs> he gets I know. all the deals. Stringer finds uh, the most incredible shout, arcade deals. Shout out to Stringer. He has a Space Invaders in his arcade and a Star Wars. Very cool. Brad, a lot of people have unrealistic expectations uh, you know, when it comes to getting developers on board. Mm-hmm. And that's why I pick good games. And I play a lot of games. I return a lot of games on Steam as well. Um, but I, I pick Verdict Guilty. I don't know if you could show my video later. But that developer is, is a very good developer. Uh, I haven't played. I picked up Super Blood Hockey, but I haven't played that. But like Galacticon, these small developers that are hungry, and, and people are like, oh, man, why, you know, we need to go after these Capcom. No, dude, that costs money. You know, these companies, you know, I'm sure they want a little money. I don't know what the price is, a thousand bucks. You know, hey, but we, we, when, when we're like when, when you get the game on the I arcade, we, we have a split, you know. Mm-hmm. The thing is, you have to go after the small. And, and there's a lot. Dude, there's so many independent developers out there that are unknown with good games. And I searched them out. Awesome. Shout out to Ritual Dello. He said leaderboards drive replay value. And I would I would certainly agree with that. On and on other formats, you might have leaderboards, but you can't put a face to the people that you're competing against here. It's like you almost know everybody. So it makes it that much more fun. Okay. And let's go to the, 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 the real person that um, is on a lot of the leaderboards at the very top of the leaderboards. Um, Jeff. Yes. We're gonna I, need a, we're gonna need something special for you. <laughs> yeah, definitely for the like we, we were talking earlier about the space invaders and, the, and having the scoreboard roll over. How's that gonna show up on the leaderboard when that uh, comes to fruition the leaderboards for space invaders but i definitely have to agree you guys touched on all the points uh, about about uh, the online leaderboards and and they're only as it's only as good as the community surrounding it um uh, you know i are or, or not arcade arcade one up has their leaderboards but uh, you know i'm not really drawn to that community because nobody's really doing anything with it with leaderboards and and adding in the competitive aspect to it and i feel in the irk community that that you have it there the communities behind the games and really engaged with the games and uh, it really motivates you to keep playing and wanting to get that top score yeah and and, and, and you can put a face to the gamer that you're challenging too which is even which is nice it's 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 not just some just blank name that you don't know who it is and, I uh, feel like the uh, arcade one up fight game community has been very active though. I mean, yeah. what do you think steps? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of people uh, getting into that tournament game, things like that. Um, obviously I, uh, I'm running, I, you know, I'm running that stuff, but uh, it's getting busier when they start releasing like a second secondary cab. Now we got a second street fighter cab. So that lobby's mm-hmm. getting busier. So you know, sometimes it takes a while to build a community. Um, you know, the, the the Marvel Capcom happened really fast. The Street Fighter, you know, it's been a two-step process. So, um, you know, it takes time. I, I, I see that community a lot with the fight games, but not with the classic arcade games. Yeah. With Arcade 1-Up, yeah. whereas with um, yeah. iArcade, I see it, like across the board, I see a lot of participation. Can I yeah. say something? Rich Absolutely. Rich, Rich Waddello mentioned squad 51 versus flying saucer see that's another small indie developer they have 16 positive reviews but the the game came out like a couple days ago yep. see that's what we need to go after man there's so many small indie developers that just no you know they don't get the reviews but they're good games mm-hmm. good, yeah good jeff games. had a good idea that we should encourage the community to go after like a game a week for an on yeah. for a leaderboard game that's a really good idea. I, I arcade should run with that and do something with that, especially that they have their own show, I arcade zone, which is awesome. Shout out to those guys. Um, Gunther and KC. Um, let's see here. We got another comment. Yeah. We need to get people to play the older titles to compete. I'm a hundred percent. I love the old school arcade games I and I like the new stuff too. I was going to say, I will say this. 
The only game that I see, uh, uh, you know, on the competitor side of people trying to compete with scores is the, is the Midway yeah. Legacy, oh, that's the one from this year. And so I think iArcade has a huge advantage as far as score chasing. I mean, they really do. It's another one of the, it's another one in the column for iArcade, honestly. Mm-hmm. Can, hey, can, can I play this game? Can I just play? I'll, I'll turn the volume down so we don't get copied. Yeah, yeah, you can play it. Mm-hmm. Can I play the, the Shout out to hey, Carlos, can, uh, I like that cursor. Point <laughs> 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 Good game right there. Good game. It's like He Man on the server. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So so that look, you, they have like seven subscribers on YouTube, and they came out with a game a year ago, and they I don't even think they got two hundred views. But I played the game, and it's really good. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I got a I got a quick clip I want to play real quick. Let's see. This is uh reaching the number one score on. Breakthrough, a game that I was introduced um, through Cuddles Arcade. Enough of that.